You'll notice some changes starting today on 95 North through the capital city. RIDOT set to begin construction on the Viaduct Northbound project. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is joining us live with why the project is so desperately needed and how it's going to impact your commute. Well, if you've driven on this stretch of 95 through the capital city, you know how congested it can get, especially before the pandemic when everyone was in rush hour traffic heading to and from the office each day. So the goal of this project is try to alleviate some of that congestion while also making necessary repairs and replacements to about 11 bridges as part of this project. Here's what you need to know starting today. We've already seen some signs posted along 95 North. If you're coming from the 195 area warning you that you know speed limits have doubled due to construction work and those types of signs but there will be several lane shifts as well between exits 21 and 23 so right along the dunk in the Providence Place Mall and to the exit for 146 in the state offices right out says lanes will be narrow but they don't expect many delays and this is all to prepare for Sunday night when they'll start demolition of the old southbound viaduct which is located right now in between the north and south lanes. Then crews will work on bridge preservation on several bridges throughout the summer and build a new bridge for 146 North over 95. About next month they'll start with that. 12 News was at the groundbreaking for this project last August. Special thanks goes out to our congressional delegation for bringing home the 60.3 million dollar infra grant So that $60.3 million is from the federal government, but this project costs about $265 million. So $200 million is from state money allocated for that through a loan. And again, it's expected to start next week, but you'll start to see some of the lane shifts, Rideout says, as early as today. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Now a closer look at a project that could impact your commute over the weekend. Yeah, 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is live in the capital city with what is happening on 95 North. Kate? Good morning, guys. Well, I'm going to look right behind me here so you can see what I'm seeing. Lots of traffic, of course, lots of headlights at this hour, as expected. This area is usually congested. We're live right alongside the vets in the Providence Place Mall. And this whole area is where you can expect some lane shifts starting today. If you're headed out the door and headed up 95 North through Providence, you'll notice some orange signs warning you of some changes in the days and weeks and months ahead. The viaduct here was built with the estimate of about 60,000 cars a day, but actually carries nearly quadruple that, 220,000. So over time, it's deteriorating. And starting today, there will be several lane shifts between exits 21 and 23. That's this whole area. Uh, it also includes exit 23, which is the Route 146 exit. This is all to prepare for Sunday night when they'll start demolition of the old southbound viaduct, which right now is located in between the north and southbound sides. Then crews will work on bridge preservation on several bridges throughout the summer and build a new bridge for 146 North over 95. That's expected to start in April sometime. Now, 12 News was at the groundbreaking for the project last August and several federal and state leaders were there together. That's because this really is a collaborative effort to get the money for it. It's a $265 million project. About $60 million is from the federal government and $200 million from the state. It's going to take a few months now in the future to work on all of this. And this, of course, comes after the southbound side of the viaduct was worked on a few years ago when we saw the creation of the new Atwell's Ave exit in this area. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.